Okay, so you get to choose one. We're taking pills now, okay? We're not trying to change our minds. We're trying to change our prospects in life with these pills. So we have the red pill and you can be rich, okay? You take the pill and you are instantly rich. We've got the green pill and that allows you then to read minds. We have the yellow pill and that gives you the infinite luck. So that's luck forever, infinitely. And then the last one is a little blue pill, and that gives you plus five inches. <laughs> plus five inches to wear, I guess you get to choose, but we'll leave that up to your imagination. Spencer, I want to come to you first. I just want to know the colour you're going for first, and we'll loop back around for explanations. Sure, okay. So I thought about this a little bit, looking at these little pills, and as much as I'd like to take them all, I'll only choose one, because <laughs> each one got a good purpose. But the one I think I've settled on is the red pill. I'd quite like to just be rich. Okay, Davey, which one are you going? What's your immediate choice there? Immediate choice, infinite luck. Infinite luck. Definitely going for a yellow. 100%. Okay, I've been super kind to you guys. And uh, I forgot to mention at the top of the show, we couldn't have the same one. So you've chosen infinite luck. That was going to be the one I would have gone for. So I guess I'm stuck with extra five inches, which to be fair, I don't think I need. You know, I'm six foot two. I'm towering above you boys anyway. So I don't really need the extra five inches. Um, but maybe I'll have to go with, well, I suppose I have to go with, that's the only one left, is read minds. Okay, so that'll be the pill I'll take. I'll take the green one. So coming back around to you, Spence, I want to know why you're going to be rich. What's the purpose of this? How's it going to change your life? Sure. Okay, so realistically, if you're rich, you've got a lot of money, shit just gets <laughs> handed to you. You don't need anything else. Let's be honest. Those, that five inches I'm missing, the money makes up for it. Women ain't going to care about that. And I was thinking the five inches because I thought I wouldn't even put it anywhere near me, Todd. I'd just make myself taller. That's what I'd like. I'd be level with you boys. But alas, I'll stay shrunk, but I'll buy us a studio. <laughs> and the way I have to imagine this pill works is that obviously if you can read minds, you can read minds forever. Plus five inches, that's forever infinite luck that's forever surely it's not just a set amount of money it's so much money that you could spend all of it and you will still somehow be rich you're rich indefinitely uh, you know people have different levels of rich right and so to mm. a poor person you may be rich right now spence right but to like someone elon on the streets musk, yeah. yeah yeah to elon musk you're nothing you're a little insect a little ant that you can just squish right with his <laughs> infinite money but if you want to be like if you're rich to him you you're like mad rich yeah so like the richest in the world kind of rich i reckon like you want to be saudi rich infinite. yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah like saudi oil, rich yeah, yeah oil yeah. prince yeah that should be the bracket shouldn't it be rich saudi rich <laughs> yeah i don't yeah. i think it's just an indefinite amount of money it's like you could spend as much you want and the same amount is still there it's you just have money kind of like if you pulled 100 quid out your pocket reach back in there'd just be another 100 every time you just have so Let's think money. big, Spence. A hundred. You're pulling out just a yeah, hundred. Well, I mean, you know, little pockets there. Little pockets, but they're infinite, mate. To infinitum, you could just pull out money, my friend. Just whatever you want. And I think out of all the pills, that's the one that makes... I wouldn't want to read minds because you just know what everyone thinks of you. And a lot of the time you don't want to know, I think. <laughs> it, I think it'd be beneficial in like betting or maybe wooing a woman. Mm. but. I got money. If I lose the bet, it's good. And with women, I got money. I ain't got a boot I just got to be like, come yard. Sound <laughs> come on yard. the way. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey luck. Up, I don't need luck. I'm her. rich. Mate, it's fine. I think literally being rich beats all of these. And it's the one I would choose. Okay, so you pop the pill. What's the first thing you're buying? A studio for us. Studio. 100%. You're going straight yeah. out by studio. Yeah, either that or a big old house for me. Yeah, big old big old house or just taking us on a lad's tour that'd be quite sick i reckon all this is bullshit i reckon first place he goes right is turkey and he gets that operation where he gets stretched <laughs> you've seen those blokes that oh, have had no. that done and they get like extra like their knees like elongated or whatever and they spend loads of money to be like three inches bigger because you could get that five inches like you say you could just stretch yourself a little bit and not worth do that. it no. He's getting the pack implants. Fat injections. He's getting in the work. Cock. So you just got that big, goofy <laughs> sausage roll dick. <laughs> the turkey smile. You could do all that, Jesus mate. Jesus Christ. I think that's the first place we go. You'll be like, lad's tour, mate. Lad's tour, lad's tour. Turkey. And you come back. You won't have the turkey teeth. You'd have 
Turkey legs, mate. Turkey legs, baby. Turkey <laughs> cock. <laughs> okay, then. So, Spencer, you're going to be rich forever if you take that red pill. Davey, you chose the infinite luck. Tell me why. So, I'm thinking infinite luck just benefits you in every single way. You've got no chance of getting run over. You've got no chance of, like, being on a plane and it crashing. <laughs> You've got literally nothing that can go wrong will go wrong. So I could say to myself, I'm going to jump out this window and army roll at the bottom and I reckon I'll be fine. And then it'd be like, no chance. But as you roll out, you're fine because luck's on your side. They'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe you landed into that hay bale that was strategically put underneath you that you had no idea about, like Assassin's Creed style. Mm. So whatever you want to do, you could just do it. And then if I wanted to get rich... Just play Euro Millions. Win. And I could just win every single week if I wanted to. Infinite luck, well, baby. I'm not sure luck works like that. I think if you jumped off a building and you didn't die, but you were horribly crippled, people would still count you as lucky. That's true. <laughs> that is true. I that don't think true. luck means you are invincible for the rest of your life. If you survive in some vegetated state, they might go, he was quite lucky, wasn't he? But then the doctor may say, there's a chance, a slim chance, that you'll recover to 100%. And you know it's a cert. You're like, oh, they'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> Just like, oh, <laughs> Lux willing me back. And before you know it, you're, you're absolutely fine. You're goaded. But I think you could, do, you could do anything you want. You know, you could go in and you could say like, right, you go in, they'd be like, right, um, we got this product V that would give you superpowers so you can read minds. But there's a strong chance, you know, it's about an 80, 20 percent like success to failure ratio, Uh, 80 percent die when they try this. But you've got no worries because you've got that infinite luck on your side. So you're like, yeah, no, chucking at me. So anything you do, you know that you could swim in the middle of the ocean. Sharks won't get you. All this stuff that could happen on a daily basis, that always that back of the mind thought of, oh, I could die here. Like. The previous question, 20 minutes alone with an animal, turns out when I get in there, they're just not that interested in me. And so that 20 minutes, they <laughs> lucky. just... Lucky. That yeah, would be lucky. That would, be, that would lucky. be lucky. Or I go to make that jump onto that hippo and I actually land it and tame it. You know, that <laughs> kind of stuff. This infinite luck, I reckon, is just cracked, like totally cracked. I'm thinking, mate, the issue is I feel you get bored of stuff because everything you do, think you're playing Street Fighter, right? Every read you make will be right. Yeah. every last one because you'll be so lucky and if you try a combo it'll work because of the luck you'll be like oh that was lucky i can't believe that linked <laughs> yeah. Yeah. somehow it does everyone else tries doing it they're like what the fuck how you just press buttons randomly on your fight stick looking away having a sip of your coffee and it'll do a combo for you and they'll be like how'd you do that oh lucky mate it's lucky i guess <laughs> you it's infinite although you might actually win a game of monopoly though you know you're always rolling sixes 12s, I guess, because you got two dice in Monopoly, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Do you? No. No, yeah, you. Mm, trying to think now. Do you? I don't think don't you? you do. Do you? I don't know. Mm. Can't remember. I haven't played Monopoly in a long time. Anyway, my point was that you would always make the right roll. So wouldn't no one would want to play against you. You'd be banned from all the casinos. You wouldn't be able to make any money off the luck, would you? Because people would be a sucker. They The word would get round. They'd be like, don't play him. He's got infinite luck. <laughs> He'll always get, you know, like the royal flush. It's he'll true. always roll the right dice. He'll always spin the wheel and get the right number. Yeah, but if you play poker, someone will be like, is Lux bound to run out one day? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what he sits with his Euro millions money in his own maze house that he's won. That he's <laughs> reading every option on everyone. And with this infinite luck, you might be able to actually sell some wine. Yeah, I probably yeah, would. True, yeah, true. I probably would. I probably would be able to, yeah. SSJ Rosé, I could actually make it a reality. And I would just turn out to be lucky. Oh, he's a wine connoisseur, this guy. Best tasting one I've ever tasted. So, yeah, I think it's just it's just cracked. I don't think there's any downside to it at all. Uh, I mean, there's, there's certain things I, I'd like to have. If you just got Be Rich, you don't have to do any effort, right? You just got it. So whereas yeah. I have to go out and buy the Euro Millions, I have to go out and win at the casino i have to actually play these things i have to do these stuff Spencer, you get the worry. thrill don't you yeah so i get, well, I, get I can the... still play it i just buy enough tickets that i'm a guarantee to win yeah that's fair yeah you could you could just be playing the system on that couldn't you i just buy them all mate 
Yeah. Then you, there's one left and you buy it with your infinite luck and it happens to be the one. But it'd just be wild because you could just go into like whatever profession I wanted to do. I go into a heavyweight box and it's like, there's no way. You'd have to get one lucky punch. And all of a sudden, that punch just put someone on the ground. It's like, what? <laughs> One lucky punch. That's all it takes. Like, it would just be wild. So That's I think hilarious. it's 100% the best, in my, in my opinion. And Phil, I can see why you would have wanted to have picked this one as well. What would have been your reasons? I know you obviously can't pick it now. I've already devoured it and got that luck. But what would you have wanted to have done with this luck? Or what was your reason for picking it? Well, the thing about it, after hearing both of your kind of responses for taking these pills, a lot of them has led to you being infinitely rich and popular and successful in life. And I'm thinking, well, would I want that? I quite enjoy my relatively mundane life. And I believe with the pill that I would take now, the Read Minds, and probably if I did take the Infinite Luck, I wouldn't push things too far. I think I'd probably just settle with just an average life because to be at that top level, that top echelon, which you guys are talking about, that's going to get boring real fast. Okay, you can have the women, you can have the cars, you can win all the tournaments, you, and everyone would love you. You'd be super popular, but you wouldn't have 153 subscribers on a YouTube channel with a <laughs> sixth best a fifth best PlayStation podcast in the world right now, would you? And I could be doing that with reading minds, but I could set up for better questions, couldn't I, when I interview people? Because I would kind of know what you're thinking. I wouldn't just be hanging you out to dry with a random question, which you're not prepared about. I'd be ready for it because I've already read your mind. So I think the day-to-day -day stuff for me, the reading of minds, it would just subtly help me go through my day and my life would just be a little bit better. That's where I would go with it. I wouldn't go to the top like you guys. What a waste. The government would, <laughs> would pay you so much for that power. Loads, you have the ability yeah. to read minds, right? And they'd be like, what is, what is Putin thinking? Is he, is he actually going to invade? And you'd be like, hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He, he, he's <laughs> yeah, he's on it. his way. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's going to do it right now, guys. You want to strike, He's on right? the border. They'd pay you whatever for that. And you could still have a mundane life because they wouldn't want you going out and doing this for anything else. They wouldn't want you on a game show. Would they? You know, you're facing the chasers and you're just reading the chasers' mind. You know, they, they wouldn't want that. <laughs> the chasers or eggheads. That would be actually probably the show I'd go on and just fuck those guys. Yeah. Because they, uh, have you ever watched that show? It's so condescending, isn't it? When they win, they're like, ha ha ha, we're the eggheads. Ha ha ha, we're the chaser. <laughs> Bog off, mate. I can read minds now. I'm going to slay you. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know. Then yeah. I would use my powers. So yes, you are right. I would use it in very specific times, <laughs> but generally not to actually better my life too much. Oh, that's very selfless. I mean, I would straight away be trying to take over the world immediately with my powers, <laughs> 100%. Because you could just be like, all you do is you first off go off and you like you prove that you could do it. So you go on TV and you're like, look, I'll take that. You know, there's that prize up for a million pounds if you can prove that you've got some kind of supernatural powers that people have. Like, there was that guy. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, there's some guy who said he could, like, use his key to, like, your energy, chi, uh, to, to turn the pages of a book, right? Just by, like, doing this. And today he was using just wind power to do it. He got found out. Like, Have you been watching wrong. David Blaine again? No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is true. And it's just like believe a, the magic is real. It was all about this scientist guy who like was proper skeptical. Yeah. You could go on and you could just prove to him that it's real. And the guy's like, yeah, Jesus Christ, it's real. He's got the million pounds straight away, the million pound prize, well done. We now know that psychics do exist, right? And then all you do is as soon as that's proven, you then could go out on TV and say whatever, right? So you could just say, oh, he's thinking this. So if anyone comes, comes against you, you could be like, oh, he thinks about shagging kids all the time. And everyone would be like, oh, cancel, <laughs> cancel him. Like, you'd have so much power. And you could just say whatever you want, even if it wasn't true. And everyone would believe you because you've been proven to be right. So you could, because who's going to, who are they going to believe? The guy who's got the powers to read minds or somebody saying, no, he's talking bullshit. They could think of the guy who reads minds is right. So you could just say, oh, yeah, this guy's a right nonce. He loves thinking about kids. And <laughs> the guys could be like, no, I'm not. He'd be like, oh, he's thinking about it twice as hard now. What are they going to do? Nothing. They're totally out of options. Checkmate. I do think out of the three pills, my one has the, you know, most potential to turn you into a, like a, a supervillain. 
really, yeah. reading minds. The other two, you could just be rich. Okay, is Elon Musk a su- like a bad guy? Not really. Okay, he's changing Twitter to an X. Big whoop. Infinite luck, you're rolling some dice, getting a little bit lucky with the girls. Reading minds, as you're saying, that's changing the world. Yeah, you do whatever you want. We'll do yeah, but I mean, infinite luck, he could try to invade a country and he'd succeed. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it just walks in he's just like oh give me the keys to the city or whatever they'll be like oh i've lost them found them that was lucky. <laughs> and then off, off you go. i like the way that every time the luck strikes someone has turned around and went that was lucky yeah every time <laughs> everyone's really shocked by the strange amount of luck that this guy's having <laughs> i can just imagine just walking out solo on the battlefield against like hundreds of tanks they all fire right and all of them are just like flying past you, you know like on metal gear solid 2 where that that woman fortune is there and all the bullets are bending around her and everyone's like jesus christ and i think someone in that game says her luck's bound to run out <laughs> and no it wouldn't it wouldn't You'd be straight there. Not with your little yellow pill. No. <laughs> oh, man. Great. Absolutely great. I'm glad nobody picked five inches. I'm, I'm glad. I'm yeah, glad that wasn't worth it. Thing. Such a letdown. You know, five inches. Five inches on your cock. Even if you got like a, I suppose if you got micro dick, five inches on your cock, you've got a normal size penis. But anyone else, it turns into a monster, doesn't it? Yeah. And it Make a great porn career, though. Yeah. Yeah, Use I your suppose money. so. Yeah, I guess. Only fans? I guess. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I suppose you could do something with that. Five inches on, on our height. Couldn't wear shorts again, though. Yeah. No. And the question. That is a big one for me. Yeah, that's that's a big no-no. Unless you like showing it off. In which case, you just hang free. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? But there you go. Great question, Phil. Really enjoyed that. Absolutely love Thank that. Thank you. Audience, I would love to know what you think. Which pill would you pick? Let us know. Write into the email, gmail.com. Or reach out to us on the socials. They are all in the description of the show. 